were in court. I will step in here. I know now you tapped legal. Are you seeing that word legality? Dr. Francis Miles had an encounter and he saw himself. I don't know what he was doing, but all of a sudden he was transported to heaven. He said, and he saw the accuser of the brethren raise something legitimate and was telling the father by his what he was demanding he said his ministry would have gone like five ten years backwards and he quoted a scripture in job and brought job as a case study i'm bringing it because it came when you were preaching and then when all of that transpired he said jesus was there the father was there the accuser of the brethren was there and in his mind he said hey, now so my ministry just won't go back now so all this labor won't go back then all of a sudden he remembered the sacrifice of christ and christ and our advocate i'm saying this because he said even god god cannot look cannot negate the sacrifice then he said in his like essa he said that thing that happened to Job that allowed Job was because Christ did not die. He said, as at the time that case was going on, Christ have not died. He said, but my case is not the case of Job. And so these words that they are raising as legality cannot stand because the blood has been shed. So the verdict for me and Job is different. He said, immediately he said it, the accuser of the brethren walked angrily away from the court. Because he knew that the blood, the blood is our legality. Church, listen. Let me explain number two. So I'm explaining Papi's message now. There is a law in heaven. If you do not get anything both of us said, this is what we are saying. There is a law that if this is Adam, when Adam sinned, everybody sinned whether they give birth to you today or they did not give birth to you according to that eternal law in Adam all sinned and God judged all in Adam then God now raised another Adam the last Adam and he said the law that makes everybody a sinner in Adam makes everybody righteous it is not because you sinned it's because adam sinned they all sinned if you if you any day in your life have ever said now if thine cause this thing when we they see so if you have ever believed that the suffering is a product of this then You don't know if you did not see if, but anytime you are having menstrual pain or going to the, you will say it's if that caused this. If the work of if was so potent that it passed on, how much more, how much more will the eternal sacrifice of Christ? So I am prosperous, not because I did anything. I am righteous. Not because of anything. I am healed. Not because of anything. If this person is healed, I am healed. If he's righteous, I am righteous. If he's saved, I'm saved. I identify with him. It is imposition. Every time you identify with the first Adam and the fall, then death passes. Suffering comes. And things, all you need to do is stop identifying with this man. I don't know you again. This is now my new boyfriend. I don't know if you understand. I've, I've divorced this one. It's no longer my boyfriend. My new one is this one. By the law. The law that makes you sick because you were in Adam. By another... See... What I'm saying is, if you, you don't even need prayer. Yes. Let me shake one thing. 
because did I pray did I pray for for this Adam's sin to come? was there a day I was praying I said sickness come on poverty come on no all I know is that in one all in one so without my knowledge a spiritual work took place and according to that work anybody that comes through this line is made sick I am rich watch me 2025 because that's the way it's hitting me now mama do you understand I became poor not because I did anything because this person did something then death then poverty then sin all landed on my head and the consequence then another person came as the righteous son of God then he did something this work and this work which is more superior which is more superior if the work of the first Adam can pass in to creation the work of the last Adam how much more by this work I am wealthy by this work I am prosperous by this work I am telling you if you change identity now you are healed now you are whole now you are delivered walk out step out walk out come out tell that thing I am not dead status entered riches in Christ I sat down I was listening to him and remembering myself because me here was the voice of God but me there is the student and I said PFE do you really believe this thing that the words of the song he said hallelujah he said death has lost his grip I looked at that thing do you believe that death has lost his grip somebody saw me and she said oh God bless you you are aging gracefully I was angry It looks like a good greeting, right? But the law of the spirit in Christ. In Christ there is no aging. In Christ is immortality. In Christ is life. Church, we are the saviors. We are the saviors. We will go to the world. We will go to the church. And we will begin to pull out people. Be reconciled to God. And so in the spirit of all of this. We are taking the communion. And one word. 1 Corinthians 11 23. Put it on the screen. He said this is my body. That was broken for you. Please don't lose. You are not among those sharing. So don't allow that. Focus on me. This word kept coming while we were praying. He said. For I have received of the Lord. That which also I delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus. The same night in which he was betrayed. He took bread. Give me the next verse. And when he had given thanks. He break it. And he said, take it. This is my body, which was broken for you. This do in remembrance. In this conference, the word the Lord gave us is remembrance once again. Yet again. That what we are doing is that we are reaching 
in Christ. <laughs> no, hey, Kalesia. Jesus is Lord. You know, Papi, touch something. Be sharing the communion. Just hold it. He said, there is no tomorrow in him. And immediately you said that. The scripture that came to me, he said, that's why I said in Hebrews, if you will hear my voice today, he said, the day you hear it, the encounter comes. So your tomorrow becomes your today when you hear his voice. Yes, today becomes in Christ. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So every time you stand in Christ, yesterday can be recovered. Today can be received. And you can press into the future and enter. You are saying how? How was Anna that was not supposed to be in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost? How did Hannah enter into the future? And something that was not for her day, she pulled it from the spirit and brought it into her day. The first person to speak in tongues was Anna. Because the question they asked the disciples by 9 a.m. was what they asked Anna by 9 a.m. They said, you are drunk. Anna prayed and moved out of her day and entered another dispensation and carried the Holy Ghost and came out. That is why during baby dedication, she was touching Christ. She moved out of her day and read that thing. It's not baby dedication. She was saying the Lord pulls from the donkey, the Lord lifts. The Lord. She was touching the dimensions of Christ. She entered a, another dispensation. I'm telling you that there might be things that are reserved in the future. If you enter that place called Christ, you can go like this and you can pull it. You can go like that and you can correct. You can all in Christ. So do in remembrance. Can you move to the past in Christ and enter the cross and see where that infirmity they placed it on him so that when you take this communion by the law of remembrance the same thing is activated remembrance activates what has been done that's all I'm saying remembrance is a spiritual tool if you remember it is done you can now say God that delivered me from the lion and the bear remembrance we delivered Goliath are you getting it I'm saying that as you take this communion that was broken if <laughs> the legitimacy of things if there was ever anybody that SS turned to AA if you can travel in the blood and remember it and enter like this it is done if there was ever anybody, hey, Kalez, we are there. Things are happening. I've been listening to messages back to back. I was listening to a message on angels. You know, now you must defer to another economy. Yeah. And the man of God spoke about someone that was believing God for. In fact, he couldn't go back to school because what he needed was $20,000. And they know him is from the poor of the poor family. He said, but as he was driving, he saw somebody on bicycle. The man was teaching on the tangibility of a realm that is here. That if you are conscious, Kevin Zedai, you will see them. They are around us. I've experienced. He said, his spirit told him, pick that man. He did not pick him. He passed. He said it was a long road, no car. As he was going in front, he's driving. He saw the man in bicycle in his front again. The spirit said, pick him. It happened like three times. The, I believe it was the mercy of God before eventually he picked him to cut the long story short. By the time he got close to his destination, he told the man, I'm turning this way. The man said, you can drop me. Then the man looked at him and said, don't look. I left you a gift. When you get home, check the back of your car. And he drove home and entered the house and forgot. In the morning when he woke up, that's when he remembered. Went to his car. $22,000 was in his car. 
I left you a gift. That's one. I'm, you know what I'm doing? I'm, re, I, I'm remembering so that if $22,000 was ever left, left to anybody, by that law, you will share supernatural alert testimony tomorrow. That's what I'm doing. In case you don't know what I'm doing, I'm activating a realm. One of my daughters was moving from Abuja to Port Harcourt for a meeting. Delayed flight, landed 11 o'clock. The people that were supposed to pick her kept telling her they were coming, they were coming. To, before they eventually came, it was around 1, 2 p.m. But when she came down from the flight, she came to meet me because I was teaching on angels. She said she saw this man with luggages, with entourage that she cannot even count the number of vehicles and everything and the man walked up to her and told her where are you going to she said they are coming to me. will you be okay he said he wanted to go with her of course she was scared she refused the man stayed for a while she kept calling the man monitored her to cut the long story short the man even wanted to book a hotel for her she said no when he was sure that okay they will come he told her I'm leaving so 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 people with you in case your people don't come go with them she asked him what is his name he said KK and left 2 o'clock they picked her when she returned back to Abuja she was telling her mom there's this good man who he kept calling me checking the mom said let's call him all the numbers disappear. It's the realm of your father. I told her, I said, KK is two things. The king of kings and the king's kid. He just told you that he's the king of kings and you are the king's kid. So he came to ensure that you are okay. So why will I have problem if Caris needs to go somewhere? When there's an entourage, what I'm doing is what? Remembrance. If there's anybody that have ever received supernatural alert, if there's anybody that have ever been healed, if you've ever heard any testimony, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So as you take the communion, it prophesies into your life and becomes a reality. Do you believe? Lift up your hand. Lift the communion. Say, Father, thank you for breaking your body. <laughs> Arthritis have been settled now. Eye defects are healed now. There's a daughter of mine that has a tumor. She's not here. The Lord just uprooted it from your stomach now. I saw a growth in somebody's eyes. It's dissolving now. <laughs> that leg issue. Glory, that's you. It dries up now. Yeah. By the potency of the life that we have declared. In the broken body of Jesus. And in his shed blood. Anything my heavenly father have not planted. That is manifesting in your body. Or in your life. In your business. In your ministry. In your family. Be uprooted. In the name of Jesus. Take life. And take it in abundance. Drink. <laughs> Jesus. See demons taking off. See demons taking off. See darkness disappearing. Because of the blood. Because of the blood. Because of the blood. Now. Take three minutes. Remember what he said. That even. <laughs> if I preach that last message that you ended with. You will not know that it's you that preached it. That even the molding is activated. That everything that we have said now, if you close your mouth, now you do yourself. So open your mouth. They overcame by the blood and their words begin to declare. 
please don't speak in tongues now. This is not the time to speak in tongues. Declare. Money comes to me speedily, effortlessly, in all currency and in all denominations. I have more than enough. Come on now. Do it better.